what's going on guys welcome to the channel today's video we'll be talking about the brand new tower of god new world and seven nights collaboration but before i get started on the video make sure you guys comment like and subscribe and also turn on post notification bell so that you guys can always stay tuned as to not post new videos i really appreciate it and if you guys are new here on the channel i have a discord server so if you have any questions regarding reverse 1999 tower of god new world and various other games like honkai starro you can join my discord server by going to my channel description you see the server link there and I'll also post a server link in the comment section down below. But anyways, let's not waste any time. Let's hop right into the video. So, as you guys may know, we have been waiting for the collaboration announcement forever. And they finally revealed the characters for the collaboration. So, we're basically going to have three characters in this collaboration. We're going to have a character called Shanae. We're also going to have Yeon He. And we're also going to have Rachel. Now, I might have said their name wrong. Please correct me in the comment section. But we're basically going to have three characters in this collaboration. So for the first character, we're going to check out Rachel. Now, it is not the Rachel that is in Tower, like, in Tower of God New World. It is not the Rachel that we know. It's basically the Rachel in Seven Nights. Like, all three of these characters are from Seven Nights. I never played the game personally. But this collaboration, I'm excited about it. Cause the fact that we're getting three characters that's really really solid so let's go and see what rachel can do so by the way they're all green elements like she's rachel's green this character is also green they're literally all green so the green element is going to absolutely go crazy for this update so let's go ahead and check out rachel's gameplay go ahead, mute this let's see what we got here So that's her gameplay. So she's going to be a spear bear unit. Okay. Now let's see her attack. So she uses her guns. All right. So auto attack, Rachel basic attack. So her basic attack, she just basically uses a gun. And if for her passive skill is crystal of immortality. And basically for her passive is going to be green element resistance decrease, critical hit rate increase, and phoenix blaze. Interesting. So her passive is... I'm guessing her passive is going to reduce the enemy's green element res resistance and she's also going to increase crit rate. So can she can she increase everybody's crit, crit rate because we know Huarun. Huarun she can basically increase your crit rate if you attack the enemy that has the mark. So I wonder how she's going to increase crit rate. Is it going to be just for herself or is it going to be for everybody? And the fact that it has like a fire symbol that's going to be interesting. So that's pretty much her passive skill. And there's a thing called Phoenix Blaze. Wait, hold up. I, I saw a mark. Wait. So that's literally her passive skill. Wait, let's go back again. Okay. Did you guys just see that mark? Let's, let's do it again. Look at that. So, yes, she's basically going to place a mark on an enemy. So I'm guessing she's going to be kind of similar to Warun. You know, when Warren, she places a mark on an enemy, and if you attack that enemy, you get a crit hit increase, and you also get an attack increase. So I'm pretty sure if you hit this enemy with the mark, you're going to receive that crit hit rate increase. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm guessing that's where we're going because we can see that mark right there. So that's her passive skill. And if her active skill is going to be like a huge AoE attack, it has crit hit rate increase, it has continuous attack, and it also has stun. Okay. And then active skill 2, Flames of Regeneration. So let's go back. Swiftness and attack speed decrease immunity, status effect immunity, and AoE recovery. Interesting. So for her active skill 2, is basically the opposite of Warun. Warun, when she uses her active, like when she uses that little pathway thing, she increases swiftness and she also increases, I'm pretty sure, she, yeah, she increases swiftness and yeah I'm pretty, yeah she just increases swiftness and i think she increases attack i forgot but this is the complete opposite of Horun's active skill which is interesting and she also has status effect immunity and she has aoe recovery so she basically has healing involved in her kit now is it going to be self-healing or is she going to provide healing to like the whole team who's in inside her active skill so that's her active skill too and for her special skill yo, her special skill looks amazing is going to be phoenix and then it's going to be aoe attacks and a crit specialist so looking at her whole kit it seems like she's going to be a dps character so that's what her ultimate looks like let's go ahead and check the animation out 
Yo, doesn't she kind of... She looks like the the conductor pom pom and hawkeye Starro, but that's pretty much rachel's gameplay she looks really really solid and so far her gameplay is almost similar to warren except it's like the complete opposite instead of her you know providing swiftness increase and attack increase to your whole team she's doing the complete opposite where she's immune to swiftness decrease and attack speed decrease so that's actually kind of interesting so that's pretty much rachel's kit now for the next character we have shanae let's go ahead and check her out so let's go ahead and restart this she's also going to be a green element character she's going to be a scout so i'm pretty sure vespa was a scout as well yeah i'm pretty sure vespa was a scout so she's probably going to be like a tank unit let's see so fastest skill Green element resistance decrease. Okay, so she also has the same thing as the other character, Rachel. She has survival skill and she has critical damage life steal. Interesting. So her passive skill, she's able to survive. It seems like she's going to be like her passive skill is about survivability. So that's what it looks like. She's going to be a melee unit, of course. And if her active skill, she does pull airborne movement speed decrease. So she can decrease the enemy's movement speed. She can pull the enemy and she has something called airborne. I'm pretty sure airborne is probably like you put the enemy up in the sky. I don't know. Basically stunning them probably. Yeah, basically she can stun them. Okay. And then active skill to enemy pierce. Bathe in their cries cooldown decrease. Wait, so. Oh, she basically decreases the cooldown of her active skill 1 when she procs her active skill 2. Okay. So enemy pierce and decrease cooldown and if for her special skills she has aoe attacks critical hit rate increase and temporary invincibility so for her special skill she can be invincible for a short amount of time she has aoe attacks and she also has crit hit rate increase so looking at her kit it seems like she's going to be a warrior unit because she's going to be melee she has survivability in her passive skill she's definitely going to be a warrior unit for sure and this is her ultimate looks really really nice all right so that is shanae really solid so far um looking at these characters it seems like this character is probably going to be mage or probably going to be mage or a range unit and shanae is definitely going to be a warrior unit like she's completely like, yeah I, like looking at her kit she's definitely going to be a warrior unit for sure now for the last character we have yeon he i don't know how to say her name I'm just going to say Yeon. It seems like she's going to be some type of catalyst user. She looks really, really solid. Like her character design looks really, really dope. So let's go ahead and check her gameplay. All right. So she's going to be a wave controller. Okay. So passive skill, lucid dreaming crystals. AoE basic attacks, survival skill, and green element resistance decrease. Alright. And then for her active skill 1, she has AoE attacks and she also has sleep. And there's this mark again. She, she basically inflicts another mark on the enemy. So she can put enemies to sleep. Interesting. And if her active skill 2, she has enemy pierce, push, and green element crystal app application. So... She applies a green element crystal. Now, we don't know what that... I don't know what that can do right now. There's, like, not enough details. But she can definitely place, like, some type of mark on the enemy. Maybe this mark is going to, you know, allow your team to do more damage to a specific enemy. Who knows? But she can apply a certain mark on an enemy. And she also has enemy pierce. And then she also has push. So, the other character that we just watched, her trailer... Her gameplay, she was able to do pull, so she's able to do the complete opposite. She could push the enemy away, basically stunning them for a short amount of time. So that's what it looks like, basically stunning them. And if for her special skill, she just summons a whole nuclear bomb. AoE attacks, magic resistance decrease, and dream call cooldown reset. So if we go back, it said dream call cooldown. I'm pretty sure that's her after skill one, yeah. So she can basically decrease the cooldown of her after skill one. That's pretty much her ultimate. So magic resistance decrease and dream call cooldown reset. And this is going to be her ultimate. Ooh, her ultimate looks really, really nice. All right, so 
that's pretty much the seven nights collaboration characters now out of all the characters like uh, out of all the characters that i just watched like their game introduction i'm gonna say the main character i'm mostly excited about is rachel i feel like rachel her kit looks really really promising and i'll say character design wise the best character design in my opinion is this character right here yeon i think her character design is really really cool um so yeah like i said rachel i feel like rachel's kit has a lot of potential because it's literally the complete opposite of warun but she can almost do the same thing as warun except there's like a little bit more to it so rachel really really excited about this character now one question i have is what are the rarities for these units like are they going to be are they going to be like ssr only or like is one of them going to be ssr plus because it seems like so far all these units they're probably going to be just ssr and are they going to have their own banner like i don't know they're probably not going to have their own banner they're probably just going to be added to like you know the 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 standard pools pull rates and that's pretty much it they're not going to add a new banner but it seems like you're gonna have to use all these characters in the team like they're all green element their passive skill can literally decrease green element resistance it seems like all three of them together they're gonna be really really solid because for this character she seems like she's going to be like a dps unit like a sub dps unit and this character is going to be a straight up warrior unit that can survive and do some decent damage and she looks like she's going to be eon looks like she's going to be a character that can basically control the battlefield so it seems like they're going to all work pretty solid together i would definitely love to see how you know my endorsee could you know work with them but overall really excited about this collaboration um hopefully you know later on in the future we get more collabs but the fact that we're finally getting news on this collab and they're basically going to release in a couple hours which is really really exciting so really solid characters overall I'm definitely going to be pulling for them for sure. And yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Make sure you guys comment down in the comment section down below what you guys think about this collaboration. But anyways, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.